Hello, this is Eric Schultz. I'm the author and creator of the interactive ebook for the new Briggs Cochrane Calculus text. I'd like to take a few minutes just to show you some of the highlights of the new generation ebook we have. Our electronic text combines all the material that you would normally find in a full calculus textbook together with hundreds of interactive figures in an engaging, dynamic, and rigorous ebook designed for both students and faculty. There are 650 interactive figures in the ebooks, starting in the pre calculus review sections and going all the way through the vector calculus. A unique feature of our ebook is that the interactive figures and the words coexist together in the ebook, right next to each other. The figures are not outside of the ebook, somewhere else on the web that the student has to go to. The notation in the figures is identical to the notation in the narrative text. And it's a relationship between the interactive figures and the words that can be profound for students studying calculus. Let me give you a quick demo. Here we are in section 2.7, the precise definition of limits. And let's open up the definition section. And we can scroll through the content. We can see uh, some textual material. We can see the interactive figure appearing just before the definition. Of that interactive figure allows a student to start investigating what epsilon is, what delta is, the condition on X, if X is outside of the delta neighborhood, notice the annotations and the figure change, moving back and forth, etc. The figure preps the student for the definition to come, where now all the components of the definition have been visualized in that interactive figure, and a student can go back and forth between the figure and the definition to be sure they understand all the pieces and parts of the definition. The ebook also works as a teaching tool. Let me give you a demo as to how that could be. Imagine that we're in the first course of calculus and we're trying to help students understand how to graph the derivative of a function. We might put up on our board some function that looks like this and then we grab our colored markers or colored chalk and we start annotating that figure in time helping the students understand how the tangent lines and the slopes of those little tangent lines are producing points along the derivative, etc. When we're all done we'll have a figure that looks something like this but if a student had lost concentration or if a student didn't understand a key step it's a bit of a mystery as to how that figure came to be. Let me show you how the ebook can be leveraged to, to help improve student understanding here. I'm going to go into the ebook to example 7 of section 3.1 where we see the problem sketch the graph of g prime using the graph of g. I can drag the x value back and forth to suggest to students what it is that we're going to be thinking about. And then let me click on the solution to the example where you'll find all the content that is in the printed version of the text leading into an interactive figure that we can start having a discussion around. Let's indicate that we want to see G prime. We can click the play button and watch the derivative be sketched on the graph. We could pause that at any time, back up the x value, and have a discussion as to what just happened at that particular point. Why did the derivative curve cross the x-axis? Why is the derivative reaching a maximum right around this point? Etc. Now, if a student missed something in class, later in the day or that night, they can go into their ebook, they can interact with this exact same figure, and they can back up and they read the textual content that's supporting the figure and go back and interact with the figure. Let me show you another example. There are quite a number of three dimensional figures in the ebook, and this, this example highlights one of those. Let me just click on the subsections and we'll just scroll through the text. We'll get down to example one, which has the problem that we're focused on here. Express a double integral as an iterated integral. Let me go into the solution right away. Let me pass over the first interactive figure and pause on the second one. Every three-dimensional figure in the book is fully rotatable. You can just click on them and spin them around to look at them from different angles. Uh, there are controls that you can move. In this case, we're changing not only the figure, but we're changing the upper limit of the outside integral as we move that control. Drag that all the way over to the side. See the volume? Spin it around. Uh, every three-dimensional figure also allows you to add the coordinate planes, which can help students see the three-dimensional depth and perspective. Let me point out a few features of the ebook. Uh, number one, when you click on a section of the ebook, the entire section is downloaded. There's no page by page delivery in this ebook. Um, you can use the outline view to drill down into the content or use the expanded view and scroll from beginning to end. It's your choice. The content is easy to magnify. I also want to point out every section has a quick quiz in it. 
The ebook uses a freely available Mathematica player software. Just download it from the web, install it, and you're ready to go. The ebook is updated regularly. The four of us have done the best that we can to produce an error free textbook, but when we do find small errors or when we get feedback, we fix those in the ebook and update it shortly thereafter. The ebook is supported by MyMathLab.com, where you'll find six to seven thousand assignable items, algorithmically generated exercises, interactive figure questions that are focused on visual and conceptual understanding. Our brief time together has come to a close, so let me say thank you on behalf of the four of us for the time that you've spent. Uh, if you have questions and you'd like to know more about the ebook or the printed book, please contact your Pearson representative. Uh, we could arrange a webinar and talk in more detail or maybe even a campus visit. Do take care.